That was something else. Thank you. Thank you very much. Really something else. Now, we may be inspired to practice, but we may not know how. You could do more damage than good by practicing the wrong way. It's like a, if you go out and get a weight set because you want to develop muscles, but you lift weights every day and work the same muscles. Well, this is the wrong way to lift weights. You're supposed to lift every other day. That's why I'm going to give you Winton's ways to practice. These ways ensure that you're practicing the right way. Now, there are 12 of these, but I'll give them to you four at a time because I don't want you to suffer from indigestion during the course of this session. <laughs> Number one, seek out private instruction. That means try to find someone who knows what you should be doing. For example, Yo-Yo is the greatest cellist in the world. He's applauded everywhere he goes. But still, you heard him earlier say, man, could you show me something about Mood Indigo? I like to learn things. He will seek out advice. He's not too proud. He comes to me, he says, how can you show me more about how to play this piece of jazz music? Don't be too proud to ask for help. Number two, write out a schedule to practice all fundamentals of your instrument every day. A schedule is like a blueprint for building a house or, or some instructions for building a toy plane. If any of you all ever built toy models or anything like that? Well, see, you have to have some instructions. So that's what your schedule is like. It lets you know what you have to do, and you can see it. It's something tangible. You see it, and it lets you know. Now, if it were a trumpet, the most fundamental thing is what? Breathing. Many times I, I hear trumpet players play and I say, well, what, what, what do you want to play? And they say, well, the car cannot run without gas. So I always tell them, no, take a deep, deep, deep breath like you swimming and you go under and you come up and you take a big gulp. <gasps> so you say, <gasps> that's an example of a fundamental on the trumpet. Winter, you know, the same thing happens on the cello. I, I don't play this note and just play like this. You use your body to actually prepare. And the other thing that I was taught, I don't know whether you agree with that, is that you should never make a sound unless you hear it first. Mm. So you're not just doing this, but you, you actually are waiting to hear it, something, and then you play it. You see what that's like? That's like talking without thinking. You know, sometimes you open your mouth and you say something, you go, ah, I wish I wouldn't have said that. That's what he just said. I'm guilty of that, too. <laughs> okay. Number three, set goals to chart your development. That's very important. Like, you don't want to get the blueprint to your house and look at it, and somebody says, well, I want you to build me a house. And you say, okay, I'll build this house in a week. Well, that, that's unrealistic. You won't build it in a week. So you have... A chart for your goals, okay? I want to put the foundation down in a month. I want to get the walls put up in two months, so on and so forth. And six months later, you want to have a house. Now, when you want to get better in your practicing, you have to set goals so that you know where you'll be at a certain time. Number four, concentrate when practicing. You know how sometimes you have your math homework or something that you don't want to do, and you just sit over and you go, oh. You end up wasting one hour when you could have gotten all of the work done in five or ten minutes. Use the time of practicing to focus and concentrate. Now, if you can't concentrate, don't go through the motions. Just stop and come back to it. You know, it's funny. When I have trouble concentrating, something isn't quite right. Either my mind is someplace else, or I'm not feeling well, or my body's not feeling well. Practicing, if you put your feelings into it, you actually join your feelings and your mind and your body all into one thing. And I always feel better from having done really good work. You all understand what he's saying? Mm -hmm. You have to try to get all of yourself into what you have to do.